Hello everyone. Welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to discuss particular integer when we have x is equals to e raised to a x into v, where this v is a function of x and that v is that may be x raised to m or sine of a x or cos of a x, right? So yes, we know formula for p i. Yes, we have this one. What is x here? X is e raised to a x into v. Now we have to proceed for finding p i for this one. So what we have to do first here? We have to take this e raised to a x outside of this operation, and we have to replace this d by d plus a. And this v is remaining as it is. Yes, what we have to do here? Yes, what we have to do? We have to take this e raised to a x outside the operation, and at the same time, we have to replace this d by d plus a. So now we have to simplify. This is here. We will get new f of d, and we have to operate this new f of d on this v. Now we have this is v that may be x raised to m, or this is sine of a x, or this is cos of a x, and we know we can operate one upon f of d on this x raised to m, sine a x, or cos of a x. This is our earlier cases which we have discussed in previous lectures, right? So yes, here we have to operate this simplified one upon f of d. On this v as per v as given, right? So we will get this is required p i by using earlier cases. So yes, what we have to do? This is operate this f of d plus a on v as per previous cases. So yes, in this way we have to proceed for finding p i when we have given this x is equals to e raised to a x into v. So now we will solve some example on this case. Yes, now here we have to find the p i for this differential equation. So we will write down this is here f of d and x. So yes, what we have to do next here? We will take this is e raised to three x. This is outside, and at the same time we will replace this d by this is d plus a. A is here three, right? So we will write down this is here, and this remaining twice x. Okay. Now we will do the simplification of this one. So yes, we got this one. Yes, on simplification we got this one. So yes, yes. Now we can check that we have got this one upon f of d, and we have to operate this is on this twice x, right? So this is the case of x raised to m, right? So yes, what we have to do in this case? Yes. When we have this x raised to m, we have to take this twice d out of this f of d, so that we can express this f of d as a one plus phi of d. Yes, we have to take the lowest degree term outside. Here we have lowest degree term. This is twice d. So yes, we have taken that outside. So here we have this one. What we have to do? We have to express this f of d as a one plus phi of d. Now, what is the simplification of this one? So yes, now we got this one. So we have to take this one plus phi of d in numerator. So we have this one. This is with negative index. Now we have to simplify. 
this bracket and we know its expansion here we have plus 1 plus x raised to minus 1 so here this is in expansion we have alternate plus minus sign yes so we will write down this expansion here now we have to operate this expansion on this twice x right and we know we have this result yes m plus 1 th derivative of x raised to m is 0 right so we have write down term of up to this one only so on simplification yes when we operate d square on this twice x we will get 0 so we have only these two terms and derivative of this twice x this is 2 yes d is here now on simplification we got this one yes now here we have this 1 upon d and what is this 1 upon d this is the integration with respect to x so we have to operate this 1 upon d on this one so what is the integration of this twice x this is yes and integration of this one is here x so we got yes so this is the required pi yes how we have proceed for this one yes first we have taken this is e raised to 3x outside this operation and at the same time we have replaced this d by d plus a so that we got here new f of d and we have operate this f of d on this x raised to m and this is by our earlier case so we got this required pi now again let's have a look on next example yes here we have to solve that means here we have to find complete this is cf and pi so yes we will find cf so for cf we need auxiliary equation and that is given by this one and its roots are yes so we got this is d is equals to 2 3 and its cf is given by yes yes roots are here this is real and distinct now we have to find the pi so here we will write down f of d and given x so now yes what we have to do here we have to function e raised to x into cos so we will take this is e raised to x outside this operation and we will replace this d by this is d plus 1 a is here 1 right a is the coefficient of this x so yes remaining this is cos of 2x so now we have to simplify this is here so we got this one now again yes we got this f of d now we have to operate this one upon f of d on this one so this is our case when we have sin or cos of ax right so what we have to do in this case we have to replace this is d square by minus a square so a is here 2 so a square is equals to 4 and minus a square is equals to minus 4 so yes we have to replace d square by this one on simplification we got this one now we can check that here we can take minus sign outside so we have this is yes now in denominator we have this is d here and we need d square so we will multiply this complete by this is 3d minus 2 yes 
yes we have done rationalization of this one here so we have yes now we got d square and d square is here this is minus 4 that is our this is minus a square so we will replace this is here so yes we have got this minus 40 here so yes on simplification we got this is so yes minus minus get plus here now remaining here we have 3d minus 2 into cos of 2x now we have to operate this on this one right so we know how to operate this is here d is a derivative derivative of cos this is minus sine 2x into 2 and this 2 into cos of 2x yes d is here derivative yes now we can check that here we have this minus 2 common so remaining is here 3 sin 2x plus this is cos of 2x so on simplification we will get this is minus e raised to x upon 20 yes this one and this get so we have remaining so yes in this way we got required pi right we have to write down complete solution solution we know that y is equals to cf plus pi we have to put value of cf and pi which we have find this is here so yes in this way we have discussed this case 4 when we have x is equals to e raised to ax into v yes what we have to do here we have to take this e raised to ax outside this operation and we have to replace this d by d plus a and we have to operate this simplified f of d on this v as per previous cases so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching